Hilchis Malochim bearing Beis Alok Adalat. Meis like Meis, if the king has somebody, a relative who passed away, and he reads in Pesach Palterin Shiloi, he does not go out of his palace door. So the Pirush is. Even if it's one of the seven koyim that a person is obligated to be to mourn, he doesn't go out of the palace. When they give him the meal that he has to eat after the burial, everyone is sitting on the ground. And he sits on his. Uh, it's his. Uh, it's a small bed. As the mission explains, it's made of leather that uh, usually you sat on it. As the mission cites on Hedron 20a, and Rabbi Yehuda says, if the king wants to go after the the funeral procession, he can go. You find by Dovin, he went after the meet, uh, the the burial uh, procession of Avner, the head of the army. And Shoal went out, uh, uh, the, uh, the, of the head of the army of Shoal. After Yoyev killed him, and it says in Shmuel, Melchizedek went after the, the the burial procession. The Chacham is saying that Rabbi Yehuda Dover went, so they shouldn't think that he commanded to kill Avner. And that's what we find in Shmuel Beis chapter three, thirty-seven, and everyone knew that the, the, the king did not want Avner to be been there to be killed. It was the idea of Yoyev, because of Mishnah sites it's called a need of the moment for the peace of the kingdom but usually a king would not be able to go after somebody else's uh, deathbed like the Allah like the Tanakhama and he asks why doesn't it say uh, and if he if he wants to do so we don't listen to him like he writes Bacharitza Yibum and he answers Bacharitza Yibum he used the language of the mission in Sanhedrin 18a if you listen, if he wants, you don't listen to him. But the Sanhedrin, that language is not mentioned. And he learns that if he wants to give chalitza or levered marriage, which are mitzvah, positive commandments, we don't listen to him. So also certainly, he wants to go after the, the, the burial procession of someone else. Um, that's, that's not an obligation on him. Like Chalitza, we don't li- we do not listen to him. We don't permit him to do so. In Hilchos Oval of Morning, he writes: the king is obligated in all matters of mourning, because he doesn't go out of the palace after it, the person who died, and certainly not other people that died, and he does not m- console mourners. And David did not go after Avner just to let the people know that he didn't. He was not. Murdered at his uh, command. Yeshuaikom infers that even if the king wants to go after that person for any, a reason, any other reason, we don't listen to him. The Rama Minachas Oval says a person cannot go to the king to console him, only his slaves and the one that the king permits to go in. They have no permission to say to the Melech. Consolation only as much as the king permits, and when you give the king a meal to eat after the burial, everyone sits on the ground and he sits on this dargish, this leather uh, type of chair. Now, the forbid- forbiddenness of a king to sit in the base amigdosh, the im nichnas, if the king goes la azor to the Area of the Beis Hamikdash, right in front of the b- building, which is called Azora, not the Ezus Noshim, where Mizera Dovid, and he was from the seat of Dovid Yeshev. He can sit. Change here by Azora. The only ones permitted to <coughs> sit in the courtyard. <coughs> only the kingdom of David. Shenam, as it says in Shmuel 2, 7 to 18. We find that David Amalek came and he sat. And that teaches us he was permitted to do so. Even though the glory of the king is also uh, by other tribes, as we learned in Perak Aleph, that a Novi that established a king from other tribes of Israel, he's a king. And all the uh, rules of kingdom are upon him. But sitting in the Azorah, it was only permitted to Malchabe's David.
The Kezer Mishnah cites an Edwin and Yuma that you cannot sit in Azura, only the kings of the household of David. Toysus and Yuma questions from Zvochen. 16a. It would seem that the Kahana could sit in Azura to eat. How, how can they sit there? And the answer that's Kochim Kalam that are eaten throughout the city. And that they would, there they would sit in a section of the Azor which was not sanctified as the Azor. But Kochi Kochim in the Azor they can't sit. They answer another, answer the name of Riba of Rome, that there's no sitting only for the kings, it's only that are not part of the service. But the eating of the Kahanam, which is uh, part of the atonement, then the Kahanam eat it and the owners at are atoned for, therefore he's permitted to sit even though he's not a king. You know, the Sanhedrin, they explain that the Sanhedrin sit in the Lishka Salagozes, which is right next to the Azor, because it was not part of the Azor, it wasn't sanctified with the holiness of the Azor. But the courtyard of the Beis Amigdash is the only seating people place to sit the kings of the household of David. Hills Beis Abkhira, in the Miri, explains, no, the Hills Beis Abkhira, the, the Ramam explains, that you don't sit in the Azor because you have to fear the temple. And it says in Migdoshi Tiro in Vayikro 26b, you shall have fear of my holy place and not, you don't fear it, as the one who created it, who uh, commanded to be feared. And he adds, every person cannot sit in the Azor, only Malchai is based over it alone, as it says. The king of Yahweh Yamal Dov and he sat before Hashem. So there you find the before Hashem, even before the Beis Hamidrash was built, when the Mizbeach was in Yerushalayim. Zanhedrin had sat in the Shus Azor, Gozes <coughs> sat in a section which was not part of the Azor. And uh, the other part, though, they could not sit, because in the Azor, the courtyard that sanctified for the Beis Hamidrash, the only person permit to sit here is the king of the household of David. Then the Mishnah of Melach says, we don't know if this forbiddenness is Midaraisa, is it or Midarabona. Rashi cites, it's Allah Lamoshim Yisinai. But the Yumo writes, Rashi writes, we don't have the Psukim, to stand and to service. That you have to stand there before Hashem in the in the Beis HaMikdash Menat Torah. The Mishnah of Melach he wants to uh, explain the contradiction between Rashi, and he brings the posik only as a reliance, but it's not. Uh, but it's Allah Lama Sinai, not because from a, we learn it from, from we deduce it from the posik. He questions Rashi says in Soita 40a that you can't sit in the Azura because it's not. It's not correct to sit. Even angels, they have no right to sit. It says they stand above it. They have no sit permission to sit. And therefore, the Rashi explains that's forbidden the Rabbonon. And he continues and goes, the Rashi then, that Rashi is the opinion that's been a Torah. And he brought the Posik by the Malochim to give a reason why they're forbidden to sit. Because it's not glory for heaven that people sit. So it would seem from the words of Rashi. Uh, based on it, was permitted for them to sit in the Azor. HaKadosh Baruch gave them the honor, meaning that the forbiddenness to everyone else and the permission to base Dovin is Minhat Torah. In Gedushin 78a, it says, When Alekim had not, the, the candle of God had not yet gone out. Shmuel was laying in the temple of Hashem. How could it be that? <coughs> now, how could Shmuel was a levy first of all sleep there? And sitting in the Azora is only permitted to the kingdom kings of of, of David, of the household of David. So the Mishnah of the Mel says if it's also forbidden uh, how do you know that the the more know that the time of Shmuel was forbidden already, maybe only the Bezin that afterwards forbade it. It must be it's the Arisa. It brings from Tosfos. Maybe it's not Menat Torah. From Loya Royim, he tells us certain rules. He, he discusses if you can lean on something. 
and he brings down what's brought from Tosfos and uh, he's of the opinion that you can't sit only for the kings of David. Rabbi says in the name of Rabbi Shlokish, even based on David, there's no actual sitting. According to the Yerushalmi, only the Kohen Godel could sit, as it says, Eli Yoishev. Eli was sitting. Eli was the Kohen Godel, and he sat in the Azorah. And he continues to say that you can't say that in the Mishkan, Shiloh, the forbiddenness was not there. Then, therefore, you can't bring any proof from David Amalek because he was before the Beis Amigdosh be, was, was built. And obviously, the Mishkan Shiloh is more holy than Givon. Because the Mishkan Shiloh is called Menucha. And uh, furthermore, the entire time the Mishkan Shiloh was standing, it was forbidden to bring uh, private uh, altars. And the days of not even given, it was permitted to bring in private horses. That's another proof that Shiloh, Shiloh has a greater sanctity. But even in Mishkan Shiloh, they could not sit. And according to this, when it says Eli sat, it means all like the Yerushalmi that the Korean God was permitted to do so. Or like the Beis Yosef, they didn't sit, but rather he stayed there. It means he remained within the confines of the Mishkan. Now, Malay Royim says that Malach and Beis Dovin have are permitted to sit in the Azor because the king is the ch- most chosen of the people and he's, prece- he's higher than a Kohen Godel and therefore, Midrash Hashem, you have to give glory to the king. Hashem gave him his honor only to the household of the David because it was, the Midrash was built in Yehud, in the Chedek of Yehud and Yemen. And that's where Baal based over were kings. However, the kings of Israel never ruled in Jerusalem. As we learned before, they never weren't allowed to. And therefore, they have no right to sit in the Migdash, even though a Melech Yisrael precedes a Kohen Godel. Forbiddenness to sit was only after the Melech was appointed king. But in the days of Eiling, with Kohen Godel and Shevet, it was permitted for him to sit. Um, I, I, yeah, Hashem gave from his honor to David in every generation to one individual the, the most chosen and in his generation Eli was the most chosen because the Shavid, in the period of the time of the Shoftim had, a, had the same law as a king where we find the run maybe the time of the other Shoftim, they it was permitted for them to sit in the Azor as well in Mishkan Shiloh because they were kings. The Rami Pano, uh, who preceded him, says there's no sitting in the Azor only for the king household of, of David. The Rami learned from Eli Akoyan that Kahana Gedolim could sit in the Azor, means by Shiloh. It says there's no king in Israel. Eli was a shavit. Eli, according to God, was a shavit, had a right as a, a law of a king. But once the base of Migdosh was built, the law is that no one else could sit there, only Malchay based on it.